Naruto 629. Let's go ahead and cover the first part before we dig into the second part, which has, yeah. Okay, now the first part, okay, a lot of this, the path that Naruto's on, right? He's been chasing the Jiraiya and, the, you know, his father, their path, right? And, and then behind him is uh, the Sage of Six Paths. So he's, so he's on this path. This is his trajectory. What really got me, though, was the panel just above that one. Okay, where the Sage of Six Paths behind him is where you have the different tailed beast, right? And that really is what uh, just set it up for me. He knows their names. He he's already you know he, he he's interacted with them, and it's just uh it just set everything up perfectly. So I was really impressed. Now speaking of impressed, Madara keeps thinking he's just well I'm just going to kill everybody and move on, and 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 it isn't working. Okay. Now, of course, Naruto is, is, is you know, losing his, 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 his chakra, his energy, but he's a hero. This is what he has to do. It, that's the path he's on. Just a, a little bit uh, also about his character. You know, he was he had so many problems to begin with. He had so much help later. And then there's uh, Naruto Movie 6, which I'll talk about just a little bit here. Uh, very good movie. I would really recommend seeing it. Evidently, there's two versions floating around. There's the Japanese version. And then there's a Korean version, I guess, that's chopped up, and it doesn't fit exactly perfectly. Uh, I don't know which one I saw, but it, it was a lot of action all the way through. Okay, very enjoyable. It's actually a lot different, but the reason I'm bringing it up in here is because it kind of, in a way, kind of gives you an idea of what if Naruto wouldn't have grown up the way he did. Okay, you know, a character named Nami. Mean, you can... You could decide whether that, that those characters are that similar or what have you, or it's just, you know, what, because of the circumstances. But it's a, good, it's a good exercise to go ahead and think about the circumstances that the environment, you know, and then how people, you know, different good or bad things are reinforced and people make decisions. And, you know, then, you know once you're on a, a good or bad path or whatever, it can be, you know, you could get swayed by different things that are going on. So it's a very good movie, highly recommend it. But back to this. Okay, now, this was pretty good. People saw this coming. I don't think there's any big surprise. Of course, he will completely be exhausted, but he's a hero. He, he has to hold on to his ideals no matter how, how hard he's beat down, no matter how much he's humiliated. Right now, it looks good, but he has to continue, and then, of course, we know that help is on the way. Okay, so this, this all works out pretty well. Then we get to part... Two. Now, this part two of the 629 illustrates why I take my time usually before doing my reviews. Now, I have done live reaction reviews. I did that a long time ago. Um, but, of course, you have to really think about it, and you have to end up doing a second review because you got to think about what actually happened. Uh, now, the whole thing... Okay. <laughs> I... I was really like I, I was gonna do a really angry review of this, but anyway, let's go ahead and get to Ren. Now, the positive thing, uh, Kishimoto found a way. Okay, he designed a way. Okay, that both Kakashi and Ren are not villains. Okay, and and, 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 and you know that, that I mean that's kind of difficult to do, but he did it, and so she sacrificed herself. Okay, but l let's get to her being the Jinshiriki, supposedly. I say supposedly because what happened to the tailed beast? So she thinks that she's the Jin Shiriki, right, of the three tails. Okay. And uh, she doesn't want to be used as a tool to destroy the leaf, so she jumps in the way and Kakashi. Okay. So basically, she's a Jin Shiriki time bomb and she commits suicide by Chidori. This is not satisfying to me, but I, I and I'm not big for plot holes or this or just issues with. But the whole thing about where's the three tails? If she's really the host, where? Why she died? Why didn't? Why isn't there three tails? I didn't. What? I did I miss that? Is that something that was there a three? I, I didn't see that. So that created that was problematic for me. I I. I uh, I really didn't, I, I didn't enjoy that part at, at all, what have you. So, but anyway, so, but technically, it, like I say, it's, they're, they're not villains. Okay, so it goes this far. Okay. And then we get to the dialogue. 
of Obito and Kakashi. We have had such a good time as Naruto fans, right? With the, with the, the, the Ido Kages and the, we've had, Naruto has been in such an awesome place. As soon as we got away from Obito's character, you know, if there's a, if there is an entity that's destroying Naruto's world, it's not the Jubi, not with the storms and everything. It's Storm Obito. Anytime we get near this guy, it just is the biggest freaking buzzkill ever. So anyway, <laughs> oh man. So anyway, getting to the point now. Um, what is Obito? We're still trying to come to grips with this. Now, after all the viewer comments just from, from the last couple of weeks, the different videos that I've made, people commenting, commenting on people's comments, right? I didn't, I didn't see this. I mean, this isn't really... Everyone knew it was going to be taught jitsu. All right, I'm not saying that. Everyone knew that. Okay. But this is... It's like Obito... I mean, we're trying to... I mean, and I really want feedback, as I always do. But it's like there's just a small piece of Obito left. Okay, it's like all this, of course, was orchestrated to push Obito just into the last thing to fit into this because his character simply isn't evil enough. He's corrupted. It's like Obito is in there. Okay, but it's like what he said when he was pretending to be Madara. I'm just a shell of my former self. That is what it feels like. Okay. That he that, that, that in reality he's he's in there, but he's really not in truth driving it. He's this he's this twisted his his mind has been twisted and corrupted and manipulated to the extreme and it was done when he was small. But there are other influences in that body. Okay. Madara driven, I'm sure. Okay, that are evil, that are that are just corrupting him. Now it's not, it's not like possession. It's not like he's really a puppet. Okay, it's these different things meshed together. And as you've already seen, he's already, uh, Madara's already really lost control of him. Okay, he didn't do exactly what he was supposed to. Okay, but this reminds me, he's he's Madara's creation. Okay, he reminds me of Ochimaru and how he, you know. Well, he didn't create. Well, he did create. He, it's kind of very similar the way he destroyed Ochimaru, destroyed Kabuto's mind. Okay, and then over time, his last incarnation smeared these other things on top of Kabuto, right? Added to him, you know, and just piled stuff onto him. And even though they were functional individually, could do this. It really wasn't a whole. It didn't make Kabuto a whole. It just piled stuff onto him. And that's the way it feels like what Madara has done to Obito. It's the best that I can, I can grasp of, of a, how Obito really is. Because this isn't the normal trajectory of a good character that's tempted, right? Okay. But to do good, it starts doing evil. And you know how that road goes. And then maybe they, they turn it around or... Or you know, the, even the the Gara thing, where he's just all these forces are on him, and then of course he had help. I mean, but uh, you know, to turn it around, it, it isn't any of these trajectories with Obito. It's like he was just uh, abused, and there's this tiny part of him, and all this other stuff is just in there. So the fact is, is we don't know what the real Obito is until you take all that other stuff away. That's uh, he's in there, but. But even, it's like he's, he's saying all this stuff, but he's doing the opposite because he reenacts the thing he says doesn't matter, the scene with Ren. And then at the very end, okay, the whole hole in him, and I don't even feel pain anymore. This is just like that part of Obito that's the humanity that's that maybe that just that small part that echo whatever it is that's in there is just crying out you know that he's in there and he's in pain and he wants and he wants out because that seems to be all the rest of the stuff well I just want to hear it to deny it and all this it, he keeps like you say he, he keeps saying it doesn't matter but he's just completely totally into it Madara everybody's seen it Obito can deny all that he wants so 
what is the real Obito? When we get rid of all this garbage that Madara put to him and everything, is he is he is he still that same good Obito? Is that same good Obito still in there when you take all that stuff away, or is he just so damaged that in reality is he is he sort of like Darth Vader, you know? Right, Star Wars, at the end, he sees it, but he finally comes to it, but the rest of him is just, he's way too far gone. And that seems to be where Obito is. Even if at the end he comes around, he knows he's too far gone. He's even, he's even forgiving Kakashi. You know, you, this, like I say, he, this is, this is, you know, but you have to step back from this, because... The actual just reading through this just doesn't make any sense. It's, it's literally just crazy talk, so I have to dig in there a little bit. But anyway, that's my uh, that's my take on it. Uh, wow, that took a lot longer. I guess I had some stuff to talk about on uh, right there on, to get off my chest. I, didn't, I had no idea was, this video was this long. But um, I always want everybody's... Uh, we always do viewer comments every week, anyone that's new. Okay, I want, really want a lot of feedback on this. Uh, because this got really complicated, okay? Of course, you can talk about part one or two or whatever you want, but tar part two, you know, what is the real Obito? Is he still in there? Is there still a portion of Obito in there that could still be saved? Or is it kind of like what I think? It's, it's, it's too late, but he still may see the error of his ways because of these other things that influence. But that thing right at the, that last scene where the hole is in him, you don't have to feel guilty, Kakashi. The wind hole was opened by the hell of this world. Anybody can be an anime fan. You can always subscribe. You can always unsubscribe. You can do anything you want to. Until next time, take care.